Who wants to eat dinner? You guys hungry? Oh, look at this. Goldie says she's hungry. Goldie says she wants to eat. Oh, and here comes Nancy. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Boo. How are you today, Boo? Boo slept in his cat tower over here. He slept here all night. This has to be cleaned out. It's full of cat hair. Right, Boo? So the trees are really displaying their fall colors right now. I'm hoping to get out of the house for a little while today and enjoy the autumn environment. Good morning, Stella. She's waiting for food. She's like, where's breakfast? It's 8.20 a.m. Let's see what's going on in here. I just heard some cats jump down from the shelf by the window. Good morning. Good morning. There's five cats out. So there's Richard, Ziggy, Goldie, Sammy, and Nancy. Oh, nice scratch. So they really like this scratcher. I see them use this quite often. I'm actually thinking about getting another one. If I have to go back to Ikea to buy uh, another pillow cover, I'm thinking of getting another scratcher. So I came in here to scoop all the litters and to open up the window a little bit to let some fresh air in. The other cats like it when I open the window in my room. I open it like an inch and they like to smell the air. So, Richard's smelling under the door. So it was a good night last night. Um, no loud noises or anything like that. And I was able to sleep well, so that's good. Look at this, they're still playing with these fish. Hey Goldie, I would like to sweep and vacuum this room today. I have a lot of cleaning that I need to do around the house today. I'm still not caught up from moving everything out of this room. Like there's a lot I still need to do as far as organizing. We had, we had some headbutt. So last night I put a cat bed here in the corner because I was like, okay, maybe they want the cat bed there. And today the cat bed is like back under the day sofa, but it's upside down. There's Nancy. And some of these blankets got pulled. Actually, I could probably pull this blanket over more because there is quite a bit of overlap in the middle. Good morning, Sammy. Want some pets? Okay, no pets for you. What's the pets, Richard? He's purring. Okay, not too many because you guys are excited. You're excited right now. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Hey, be nice. Be nice. Richard's a nice boy. Richard's a nice boy. Everybody loves Richard, right? What a nice boy you are, Richard. I just put together two platters of food for the kittens. So it's homemade raw food with warmed up homemade chicken broth mixed in. And I had one leftover chicken liver, it was pretty big. So I cut that into pieces and I split it up between both platters. There's also some dry food on top. So I'm gonna give this to the kittens now and then the other cats wanna be fed also. It's 8.45 a.m. I just came into the room with the platters and we have four cats, Sammy, Richard, Goldie, and Nancy. Three cats are still hiding. You guys hungry? Want breakfast? Okay, let's have some breakfast, okay guys? So I put two platters on the floor and little Eva came right out to eat some food. 
And there's Ziggy. So the only one we're missing is Ringo. Big, shy Ringo. Ringo's such a nice boy. The minute I leave, he's going to come out, so I'm going to leave. You know, I never feel like there's seven cats in this room. Like, it never feels overwhelming until I see them all eating at the same time. And then I'm like, oh my god, there's so many cats in this room. And Boo is waiting for me right outside the door. Okay, Boo, you're going to eat next, okay? You want to eat something? You want breakfast? So the cats just finished their breakfast, and Boo is still eating. And I don't like playing with the cats while Boo is still eating, because then he gets distracted. Right, Stella? Did you like your breakfast? She says she enjoyed it a lot. So there's Boo. He's still working on his. They had homemade raw food today with some homemade warmed up chicken broth mixed in. And they had their favorite topper on top. And then they're like, well, we want a few crunchies. So I put a few crunchies on top. I had to open up another bag of crunchies. So they've been eating the Wellness Core. Um, those are the crunchies they've been eating. They like those. They've also been getting the Origin uh, dry cat food, which is like much more expensive. But the ingredients are really good and they do really like it. So I've been giving them the Origin as their snack. And then they've been getting the Wellness with their meals. I'm still looking for a good... Um, dry cat food that they enjoy um, and that is like a reasonable price point obviously the price of cat food keeps going up it's like ridiculous how much the price of cat food keeps going up so Boo's stealing every last crunchy on the other plates I think I'll have to put a few more crunchies on his food then he'll eat it Here's Stella. She's hanging out in her Ikea bed. She loves this bed. And I came so close to getting rid of it. She just didn't like the location where it was before, but she loves it here. And there's Simba. He's on top of the cat tower. I still need to clean this cat tower, but I probably really need to replace it. It's quite old. Let's see if the kittens finish their food. Yep, they licked the platters clean. So I have some leftover canned food in the refrigerator. I'm gonna go mix in some chicken broth and then I'll put it on the platters. It's 12.30 p.m. Hello, Richard. And I just came in the room. I actually was outside and I looked in the window and the only cat I saw was Sammy. So I figured everyone's sleeping or relaxing under the day sofa so I could do some vacuuming and cleaning. Um, I want to do it now because I don't think I have much charge left on my vacuum. I have one of those Dyson handhelds and I want to run out and enjoy this day for at least a few hours today. Um, and before I do that, I want to make sure um, that I get this room vacuum so the vacuum can recharge. How are you doing, Richard? So I just vacuumed the entire room. The floor looks much better than it did. I also wiped down the shelves the best that I could. I vacuumed in front of the litter boxes. So um, for now, that's it. I'm going to put the toys back on the floor. I also scooped out the litter boxes again. Seven cats make a lot of poop and pee. So I feel like I'm always scooping out the litter boxes. So. I'm going to put the toys back on the floor and vacuum the rest of the house, whatever else I can on the charge on this vacuum, and then I'm done for now. It is 5.05 p.m. I just came in the room. Sammy was by the window. I don't know where Richard was. He came out to greet me. Everyone else is under the day sofa. Maybe because I vacuumed today. They might all be scared still. You guys hungry? You want to eat dinner? Who wants to eat dinner? You guys hungry? Oh, look at this. Goldie says she's hungry. Goldie says she wants to eat. Oh, and here comes Nancy. Nancy says she wants to eat too. 
Sammy's rubbing up against me. Goldie, you gonna rub up against me? Nope, Sammy is. They're rubbing up against each other. Richard and Nancy. Richard and Goldie. Richard and Sammy. Here comes Ziggy. Richard's a ladies' man. Richard, you're a ladies' man. So next week is the time change, which means it's going to get darker earlier. I absolutely hate this time of year. And I, I'm counting the days until December 21st when, um, you know, days start getting longer again. And then I'm counting the days until spring because I absolutely hate winter. Right, guys? I was just outside doing some cleanup in the yard, and I started cleaning up the inside of the garage a little bit. There's a lot to do. And that's why I'm a little bit late with giving the cats some food today. I've been trying to give them some food between 4 and 5, so when I saw the time, I was like, let me go inside and give them some food now. So this is what they're having. They're having some Stella and Chewy's raw chicken bites. And then there's a little bit of canned food mixed in. And then some crunchies on top. And if they eat all this, I could give them another can of food. So, oh, there goes, is that little Eva? Yeah, that's little Eva. She's coming out. Where's Ringo? Ringo! So the cats are getting a combination of raw food, canned food, and dry food. And cooked food. So they're getting like four different types of food. I want to make sure that they have a really good variety. They're getting all of their vitamins, minerals, and nutrients so that they all grow up big and strong. I don't know if some of them are fully grown already, or, um, but I think there's a few that will continue to grow and get a bit bigger. And I don't know why Ziggy's not eating. She probably wants me to leave. I am going to clean out the water and then I'll leave. Okay, guys? It, Ziggy, go eat some food, okay? Let's see what the kittens did. It's 5.30. Did, it, did you guys eat? Okay, they ate everything. You want some more or are you good? You want some more or are you good? All right, I think they're good. You good? I'm giving the cats a new toy. This is called Thrill and Chase by Leaps and Bounds. It is a moving and spinning plastic dome toy that satisfies your cat's instincts to hunt and pursue. So it requires three AA batteries. I've already put the batteries in and I thought we could see what this toy looks like when you turn it on and how the cats react to it. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? I think this is the on button. So there's two feather things on the bottom that go around, and then there's the toy in the middle. The toy in the middle can come out through one of the holes, but Stella's immediately going for the things on the bottom. I don't know why these cats love to hunt things that are like below other things. So one of the issues that I see with this is that the motion does not vary. Like it's a constant motion. There's no change of speed, no change of direction, nothing like that. So you can see Stella's already bored with it. She's like, you can't expect this to keep my attention. I mean, it's just the same thing over and over again. Let's see if I press this again.
Did that do anything different? So this button is supposed to have two modes of movement. Um, I didn't really see a difference between the modes, so let's see. So that's one mode. So now it's just on or off. What if I double click it? No, if I hold it. Let's take a look at the bottom. So that did not last long at all. This hardly has any feather left, very little because there it is. And then this one still has feather left, but I'm sure they're gonna get that off uh, if they have any interest in it. And this is the toy that's on the inside. It's like a soft rubber toy with some feathers on it and it goes in one of the holes like that. Okay, nobody wants to play with this. I'm gonna give it to the kittens. I just came into the room to give the toy to the cats and six cats are out, so there's Ziggy on her favorite pillow. <laughs> and then the other ones were um, by the window on the cat tower. Okay, so I'm gonna give them the toy. I'm gonna turn it on. Maybe they'll play with it. Where's Ringo? Hey, Eva. Hey, little Eva. Where's Ringo? Ringo! Ringo! Where's Ringo? I'm gonna leave this here to see what the cats do. Hopefully they'll play with the toy. Okay, ready guys? Okay, have fun. I'll be back. Ooh, I gave it to them because you don't want it.
for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.